Hello and welcome back to my series of videos about old calculators. Last time I talked about this one, this big fat one here, which is a Texas Instrument TI-92. And I mentioned the fact that because of the keyboard here, um, this was considered a computer rather than a calculator. And of course you couldn't take that with you for many exam and so on and also it's, it was kind of heavy so let's talk about something else and I said I want to start talking about the LEDs calculator and I mentioned HP but for now I'm gonna stay with Texas Instruments and I'll talk about this one so this one is the T, uh, so Texas Instrument SR52 um, this is from the 70s, 1975, and it looks exactly like the calculators made by Texas Instrument at that time. It's the same uh, face here, very recognizable, but if you look on the side, you realize that it's a little bit thicker, bigger than the other calculators. Um, the reason is because this one was a programmable calculator and uh, there was a very nice feature on this one where you could have some magnetic cards here where you could store the program that you were writing on the card and either read it or write it. Um, this didn't have a constant memory, so every time you turn the switch off, all the program were deleted from the calculator. So how does it look? Well, it's uh, the old uh, LED calculators um, with big, small, sorry, red numbers. And um, if you want to read the program, and this one came with a library of program and this one for example is a game Lun lunar landing game so if I want to read the program all I, all I have to do is press the read function put the card on the side here it goes through the calculator and the program is written into the memory and you have to read twice because there are two sides on the card. You, you have one side on the bottom, one side on the top, and you can write up to 224 steps. So the way that you do that is you write 112 on one side, 112 on the other one. So 200 steps here. You can still write some program, you can do a, a bunch of stuff, but what I meant is like, it's kind of a, a big one. This was intended to be uh, a competitor for the HP 65, which had pretty much the same technology. So I don't have an HP 65 right here. I have one somewhere. I don't know where I put that, but this is um, a 67, which is exactly the same thing. And if you notice on the side here, you will have also the slot where you can enter the car. But what I want to show is that compared to two machines here. I think the HP was much more compact and well built than the Texas. It's almost the same size but much thinner and the weight is almost half of the one from Texas here. In fact we can check what the weight is but uh, it. So the, the, the HP didn't have as many steps. I think the HP 65 have only 100 steps for programming. So Texas came up with 200 steps saying, hey, that's much better, but it came with a cost. So this one is 354 grams. And this one is 220, much lighter. Anyway, uh, it's not because I work for HP for a long time, but I think that the HP calculators are much more built for quality than uh, the one from Texas and I I had a bunch of them, the, a lot of uh, HP calculators, I can still tell you that those are still very strong, very solid. So anyway, that was the SR52, um, programmable, 
you can write on a small magnetic card here and you can read and you have all the basic and scientific function so nice one still uh, if you happen to find one please try to get one because those are very collectible and very nice so anyway this uh, next time I think I'll start talking about the one from HP as I promise thank you very much and see you next time